Turning out to be a nice night here in Sacramento as the sun sets, getting ready for the restart of the Dash for Cash. And Brandon Robinson back on the bike, tail end of the field on the 44. Off we go, and it's Mies right back out in front with that staggered restart. Well, he got a great jump off there. It looked like he's starting on the main line coming down the front straightaway. I think I had a little bit to do with the, the drive he got off, but uh, he's off and running right now. Forty-two of Brian Smith into second place. Johnson up into third on the five. Then you got Halbert right behind him, trying to mix things up on the number seven. Trying to catch that big Harley on the number nine out front. Got a great start, and these they're running pretty quick lap times. They're running about a half a second quicker in this dash for cast than they ran in the heat races what we've seen previous. So track must be getting a little bit better, Ralph. Final lap, last shot with the draft down the back straightaway. I mean, he's got a nice little gap. Nobody, no danger. Anybody drafting by him that close? 42 Smith trying to reel him in and just kind of get close enough to where he can maybe have something going for him on this straightaway. Change for third. Albert's going to take advantage and slide up into third as the five gets a little wide and the win is going to go to Jared Meese. So Harley Davidson takes heat one and the dash for cash here tonight. So that'll set those guys up for the main, the 25 lapper, the national yet to be run. And we move on right to the starting grid for semis. One semi here tonight, six will transfer out of it. And here we go. The number 91 right there, Mikey Martin. Everybody fighting to get down to that smooth line through turn number one. And you got to work pretty hard to find a smooth line there tonight. You do. And when you run off in there up front, it makes it a lot easier to find that line than when you get up in the pack like that. Uh, a little bit of dust flying around. Tracks, they're working on the track, watering down the inside of 16. Nice move. That's Wyatt McGuire on the 16. Robert Pearson had the early lead on the 27. He's going to slot back into second. to one we go 130 plus miles an hour you lift off that gas and back her on into the corner top two pretty much settled right now with the 55 closing in Jake Shoemaker he's on a Kawasaki McGuire and Pearson McGuire on that 16 riding a Suzuki Nice run by him. Pierce is trying to get a run as they come off the start finish right here. It's really tightened up as they run off into turn one. It's getting down to crunch time. Halfway through. They want to start working their way to the front if they can and just try to do something with the leader right here. He's really had it his own way the whole whole heat race, the 16. McGuire has nobody challenged him so far. The 55 now down on the inside makes the move. Draft him. Makes it look easy. Doug Lawrence on the Harley Davidson number 73 hits back there in third in the blue and or fourth I should say in the blue and white leathers. Shoemaker on his Kawasaki up at the front number 55. And now we see the 73 up into third. Lawrence picks off one. A good tight pack back here, battling a little bit deeper in the field. Well, Lawrence is coming good on that 73. He's caught the top two now. As you see the 26 back here, Brandon Bergen on his Kawasaki just inside the top 10. And those guys fighting over about seventh, eighth, ninth, all in that group. Sixth in there as well. Schumacher still got a good run here down the inside 73 now. Lawrence up to second. He's on a charge right now. Can he do anything with Schumacher? He's had no challenge, really, since he's got up front. Boy, he got good through that corner, didn't he? It sure did. So now he's going to have a challenge as they come down the straightaway. You can see all the bikes kind of wobbling around. And a little input on the handlebars down the inside of 73. 
Lawrence really moved him over that time to take the spot up front. Great move by Lawrence to force the issue and take the lead on his Lawrence Racing Harley Davidson. Kenny, hang on for the win. One to go. He's going to lose the lead as they set up for turn number one. Back to second place he goes. Well, Shoemaker's going to leave it all on the line right now to try to win this race. Right now, he's done a great job to get back by Doug Lawrence right at the start finish line last time by. Lawrence is really sitting in the, in the perfect spot, though, with the 16 right there. McGuire just waiting if anything happens. Maybe he can get a run on both of these guys at the finish line. Final two corners. A little bit of a gap now opening up for our leader. But a bit of a bobble as well coming off the of four. Here's Lawrence swinging to the inside. Good power, and the Harley will win semi here tonight. Doug Lawrence taking the victory and the top transfer spot out of the semi to the main. As you see the six riders going through, here's Doug Lawrence. I felt pretty quick. I, I mean, I've been struggling all day. I've always struggled at Sacramento, but uh, the last bunch of laps of my heat race, I felt pretty quick. and. Uh, I told myself if I can get a good start in the semi, I think I can leave him. But uh, of course that didn't happen. So uh, I looked back about halfway and figured there wasn't too many guys. So I figured I'd try and steadily make my way towards the front and uh, nab him at the line there. We're going to have highlights for you, the pro singles, when we return to the Cal Expo Fairgrounds. Race fans, whether you love dirt, asphalt, two wheels, or four, you need to be speed sport equipped with cool t-shirts, awesome caps, and great speed sports swag. You can get your limited edition merchandise now. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com, click on the store link, and start shopping. Throwback tees, shop racks, and everything you need to be ready for the races. That's nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click the store link. 